who has been just spectacular for the Celtics. She'll jump against Hartenstein. Boston has also won seven in a row. Knicks have been a good road, good home team. They're 19 and 8. Achua is on Jalen Brown. The first three pointer of the night is good. They take more threes. And ends up getting the basketball back and tough contested three, and he makes it look easy. Jalen Brunson gets to the foul line, knocks down his first. Gets inside. Well defended by Hartenstein, although Porzingis thought he was hit. Brunson steps into a three. Back. Aggressiveness to start. Porzingis being guarded by DiVincenzo. Now gets some help from Achua. An off-balance shot is good. It's one of them. Brunson misses that. White the rebound. Throws it ahead. Ball deflected as Hart tried to get it. But it goes to Holiday. He can't hit it. And Achua with the rebound. Hartenstein tripped up. Back out to Hart. DiVincenzo launches that. Three-pointer won't go. The Celtics have beaten the Knicks all three meetings so far this year. They'll play another time after this one as DiVincenzo's three-pointer. That's good. They'll play Fox and breathe into it a little bit, J.J. When you're confident you can manipulate the game and get your shots, it's amazing how different things are. Brunson knocks down another. Both teams shoot it in the tender area. He's been hearing MVP chants. Not only here at the Garden, but on the road. Jason Tatum hears them as well as Brunson. Zingas in drop coverage on these pick and rolls and letting Jalen Brunson come off and shoot uncontested jumpers. Hartenstein banks it in. All right, you, you both are broke. You know, understands concepts. Shot clock at three. Even Chenzo drives inside. Scoop layup. Won't go. That absolutely was a foul. But how about that reverse pivot at the top of the key to beat? Hart chasing Tatum. Hartenstein picks him up. Morzingas now trying to get position. Tatum again gets inside. Layup is good. Matchup and their spacing is so good because of all the shooting that their drivability is significant. Josh Hart with a three-pointer. Joe Mazzulla said right before the All-Star break, there's 10 to 12 things. Why pick 10 to 12 that we have to do much better? As Brown out, Brown back up top. Tatum off the fake. Extra pass, good ball movement through Holiday. He's shooting 63 to get your teammates great shots. The ball movement here from the Boston Celtics leads to a wide open. Brunson looks for an opening. Oh, nice up and under. Well, you talked about the Wolf sit. Knicks are shooting 8 of 11 from the field. Celtics right behind them, 7 of 12. Derek White step back, knocks down the three. A two of the offensive rebound. Knicks one of the elite offensive rebounding teams in the league. Alec Burks fires away. And that's a scoring debut in Celtics history. 30 points, 8 rebounds, 4 blocks. This is from a former future of the Knicks friend. And we use the term perfect fit a lot. There's a number of perfect fits on the Boston. There was no transition threes. There was no cross matches. We kept it 5 on 5. Thank you, Burks. Mike. All right, Lisa, Luke Cornett throws it up at eight. To try things. Um, you know, Brad Stevens always used to say when he was the head coach of the Boston Celtics. Uncomfortable. That's what Derek White said. And he likes to make other people feel uncomfortable. He says that's the cool thing. You know, when Joe Mazzula was an assistant coach, when he started his coaching career, lost the dribble. Good defense from Holiday. Pritchard picks it up. Pritchard. Slows down, layup is good. The initial two else is checking him, Drew Holiday. That veer right there makes this move possible. That's so smart. Come on now. He's been everything the Celtics had hoped for. He was the missing piece to the Bucks championship in 2021. Can he do it again? Meanwhile, oh, Tatum, beautiful. You're new. I'm coming right back at you. <laughs> Hart misses. Hartenstein keeps it alive, and Deuce McBride right there to clean it up. Celtics have been red hot shooting early on. Burks drives, Burks backs it home with Tom. Shot clock at eight. Holiday gets in the paint. Oh, nice spin move from Holiday. And gets the soft touch and bounce. Seven points for Brown chased by DiVincenzo, who's back in the game. Tough shot, Jalen Brown knocks it down. Two of them. McBride, hot step, three pointer, got it. Need him out of the pack. Jalen Brown goes inside, and the finish, 14. Five points off the bench for Bogdanovich. It's only the fourth free throw attempt 
for the Knicks. Celtics only. Celtics game sitting courtside with my kids. And it was Scott Foster who has called that twice already tonight on Porzingis. He's a teacher. That's what he is. Scores. DiVincenzo connects on a three. That's his second three-point career. Trying to harass Brown, but Brown just back. Point advantage in the paint, and they're shooting a very high percentage. Oh, McBride drives to the basket. Brown turned his head, and McBride. He is offensively. Absolutely, this year, a big step as White has some room and connects on a three. Seven foot three, you can give that cushion and still make a good challenge. Inside the lob, Porzingis counted and a foul. Points. Brunson gets in, falling away, gets in the paint, shot way off, rebound Hartenstein, puts it back, nope, pass to Achua, and Achua lays it up and in. Tried to go back up, and he's got hit with a technical foul, but he stops what would have been a fast break. Tom Thibodeau's not happy, the Knicks aren't. In terms of just on-court demeanor, like you say, Doris. Brunson. Pulls up, jumper's good. New York Knicks have gone to that high split with the guards. Both times it has ended up in a wide open jumper. Holiday looking to post up, backs in. Nice feed inside a wipe. It's the eighth offensive rebound of the game for them. Shot clock at three. Hart lines that one up, connects on another three. Derek White, the runner, got it. And the field. Holiday fights over the screen. Draws a foul. Brunson and one. Those two bulldogs. Thicker frame. And he's just so darn smart. And Doris, too. It's the change of pace there from Jalen Brunson. They're one single defender in their starting five. You think about this. We, we talk all the time about Derek White and Drew Holiday defensively. Point of attack is well. tonight. Is 7 of 15. Offensive foul. Brunson does it again. Atop the leaderboard and drawn charge. That one. They call the foul on Tatum, his second. Hartenstein knocks down. Believable. The guy is everywhere. He's relentless. When you lose maybe the best offensive rebounder in the game in Robinson. He's different than Robinson, too, Mike, because of his passing ability. And he can make a 15-foot shot. Porzingis can make a 20-step efficiency and shooting 27-foot jumpers. If that's not a unicorn, I don't know what is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Tatum launches. That's a three. Now the Celtics three points. Ten. Knicks came back tied it here earlier in the third. The Celtics starting to hit some more three-pointers. Jalen Brown, high arcing three. There's another. Brunson now with Porzingis on him. Trying to step back. Gets the shot off. Count it and one. In the arc. No, not even close. <laughs> we had a, in, in fairness, Mike, we had a very tough angle. Thank we you. Had a very tough angle. You're, right in front of us. <laughs> you're a nice pulls back. Brown tries again. Scoop layup off the glass. Boy, Jalen Brown. 11 of 14 from the field. Josh Hart goes right at Porzingis. Reverse layup, banks at home. 12 points for Hart. He is relentless. Just you, relentless. You know, Mike, he's taken some shots I haven't loved, but I don't care. I mean, he's just working so hard, and I love that he's in attack mode. Porzingis. Brown looking to post up Brunson. DiVincenzo looking to help. Wide off the bounce. Holiday wide open. Corner three. They all. There's a double team. Sims trying to help out. Tatum with six to shoot. Drives, gets into the paint, goes at Sims, and puts it in. Go. And the Celtics uh, managed to quiet the Garden crowd. Brunson, nice footwork again. Jump shot, would not fall. And Tatum the rebound. And not even in blitzes right now. Well, and he's having a hard time. I was going to ask you that. You know, Joe Mazzula clearly indicated to us that it sounded like he was not going to blitz. It's against teams like this that Julius Randle's absence is so notable. And... OG Ananobi, who would be guarding either Tatum or Jalen Brown. Even Chenzo goes under the screen. White gets away. Ball deflected, but Porzingis kicks it over to Hauser. And Hauser, the latest Celtic. Trying to stay in front of Brunson. Brunson drives back up top. Hart fakes. Now goes at Cornet. Drives. Bang shot is good. Josh Hart, beautiful move to the bucket. Going to his right and still able to finish. It's impressive.
Horford looking to post up Bogdanovich. Tough matchup for Bogdanovich and Horford. And Just a pro's pro, Al Horford. Burks goes at Horford. Bank shot is good. Alec Burks with a fancy move. Brunson looking. Bogdanovich fakes the pass. Drives. Now pulls up. Off the glass is good as the shot clock. Hart pokes it away. Shot clock at five. Tatum spins. Falling away. Three-pointer. Won't go. Pritchard the rebound. Small as bounds. Horford posting up, backs in against Achua, and can't get it to go. Ball tipped up and in. Missed the layup. Holiday thought he was fouled. Pass deflected by Brown. Runs in the turnover. Brown inside, lays it up and in. A costly turnover. No OG, who's an excellent corner shooter. There's times where Josh Hart's having to do things out of character. Tatum drives, Tatum finishes. 2008, it's about a championship, and that requires so much sacrifice. And, and Mike, you showed that. This wins. Burks jumper misses. Rebound to Chua. Back out to McBride. McBride tries a three. That won't go. Jalen, offensive rebound. Brown spins. McBride pokes it away. Brown gets it back. Layup is no good. A shooting team. It's, you know, Tom Thibodeau talked to us about that before the game. Tatum finds a spot. Ball deflected out. Left. Shot clock at four. DiVincenzo back out to Burks. Burks three pointer. That misses. I imagine that win on the road at Minnesota felt like a huge, huge win. Hey, Wally. Here's White. Brown cuts, left-handed, can't get it to go. And Porzingis fouled on the foul. Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, Grant Williams, important part of their bench. But they get these two huge acquisitions, Holiday and Porzingis. They have the continuity of their two stars in building their culture. He was a part of so many big playoff moments, made some big shots throughout his career. Ultimately, it's hard to trade somebody sometimes. You know, you get the emotion, somebody so important. As McBride. Goes pass, goes inside, shot block, Porzingis. In. Offense, pressure on the basketball. You know, appropriate switching, timely. And then sometimes the late closeouts to challenge. Oh, white to Porzingis.